We're in the month of June. It is the sixth month of the year out of 12. That's crazy. Like, it, it, it legit feels like 2024 just started. Consistency, audience interaction, getting out of my comfort zone, and learning about myself as a content creator and about my audience. These are the four goals that I set for myself as a content creator in 2024. In case you don't know, at the beginning of the year in January, January 2nd, I uploaded a video called Grind 2020 More, the 2024 Blueprint. And that video was me explaining to all of you and basically reference for myself of what I'm looking for in myself as a content creator and what I'm looking for out of 2024 as a content creator on this platform. I have so many goals, have so much that I'm expecting out of myself from this year. And so this video, I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys for a few minutes just to tell you how I feel I've been doing and maybe even get some feedback from you because <laughs> it's six months. We are halfway into the year. So I want to see, I want to know how I've been doing. I want to tell you guys what my thoughts are planned. I have no real roadmap for what I want to say in this video. I'm kind of just starting from the top of my goals list and just we're going to talk about it. I just want a few minutes of your time. If you make it to the end of this video, great. If not, that's fine. Consistency. Man, oh man. And do I feel good about my consistency? I have tried to upload one video every other day of the week. So that's at least two to three videos a week. Weekends are kind of hard just because I have an actual job. I've explained this in the videos before. I have an actual job that I work 3 to 1130 is my normal shift. So of course I cannot record and edit in the same day and then post because if I wake up early enough, record a video, edit it, and then post it that same day, I would be able to realistically get out one video every day. But then I don't want to experience burnout. I don't want to feel that drive dwindle just because I'm trying to push more videos out. I'd like to take my time, record my videos, edit them when I can, and post the highest quality videos that I possibly can. And that's where the consistency comes in. Because I have been uploading every other day, in 2024, six months into 2020, 20, I'm so hyped right now. I feel really good. I don't know if it shows, I don't know if, if it's annoying to anybody, but I feel so good right now. In 2024, I have uploaded 55 videos. And that's not even including the live stream that I did or the shorts that I've uploaded. I feel really good about my consistency, which means that if I have recorded and uploaded 55 videos in six months, by the end of the year, I will have recorded and uploaded over a hundred videos in just one year. And that's crazy to me. That is insane. I put so much time and effort into these videos and I guess that's a good segue into audience interaction because you guys have shown me that you you may not watch every video I upload, but I've seen a, a, a very small majority of you who do watch just about every video I upload. If not, you know, thank you. Just thank you because audience interaction is something that was like one of the biggest goals that I wanted for this year. Being able to read the comments and talk with you guys and be able to tell you, you know, what I think of this game and for you to say, oh, this is how I feel about this game. Or, you know, here's some advice for how you could do this. My Slay the Spire videos and my remothered videos. I've been insane. I've gotten so many tips on the best like cards to use and the best routes to go for Slay This Fire. I've gotten so much like, just you guys have done so well with making me feel important. You guys have helped me feel like the creator that I want to be. The creator that has an audience who will talk to him and can, and in return, I can talk to you and tell you how I feel, tell you what's going through my mind, tell you whether I do or don't like a game. With a difficult game about climbing, I played 
three video i did three videos of that game and each video i felt myself slowly devolving into toxic gamer rage and i did not want that so i stopped playing the game i don't know if if anybody has really cared that much that i did stop playing the game but i stopped because i did not like how it made me feel there was a lot of people who were motivating me to keep playing the game. There were a lot of people who were motivating me to feel better about playing the game, but it got to a point where I I took my headphones off and bent them, and I was so scared that I had just broken my headphones, but fortunately they still work, thankfully. I, I slammed my mouse down on my desk, and one of the pieces flew off. Again, thankfully it was a piece that wasn't important and I could just snap right back on. I didn't want to get to a point where I really started breaking things because I don't like doing that. I don't like doing it behind closed doors and I don't like doing it on camera. So I stopped playing a difficult game about climbing, but just the fact that there were so many of you guys who were so positive about me playing the game and who wanted it so much. I don't know if you just liked seeing me rage or if you just wanted to see me get the satisfaction of making it to the top, but unless I do it for a live stream or unless you guys just really really want to see me finish that game i'm probably never gonna get back to it and hopefully that's okay hopefully we can all come to an agreement that a difficult game about climbing is very very difficult and very <laughs> stressful and there goes another perfect segue into getting out of my comfort zone playing games that i wouldn't normally play on my own free time i am so used to playing rpg games i have been on this huge final fantasy high recently i've been playing through all the mainline final fantasy games from one i'm currently playing nine in the middle i'm playing like the seven remake series uh, just because i've already played final fantasy 7 so i know what to expect from the game it's not like a new game or anything but as much as i want to play final fantasy 16 so bad i'm holding off until i finish the rest of the games that i'm in the middle of playing because i'm so used to playing those rpg games i don't really have the the interest of playing anything other than rpgs and being a gaming content creator i get the chance to play games that i wouldn't normally play i get the chance to introduce you guys to games that you wouldn't normally play or that you don't have the time to play so with a difficult game about climbing if that had come out on consoles and I weren't a gaming YouTuber, I probably would have never picked that game up. I would probably watch my favorite YouTubers play it, but I would never actually play it for myself. But it caught my eye. It was intriguing. I had never gotten the chance to play Getting Over It as a content creator. So I thought, let me get out of my comfort zone. Let me set aside the level grinding, the RPGs, the magic spells, and try something different. Try a ragey game, try a horror game, try puzzle games. Uh, Ravenous Devils, or should I say Ravenous Devils? <laughs> that is a game, not necessarily so far out of my comfort zone, but as far as my free time. Um, this is not to say that I don't play anything other than RPGs in my free time, but it's very uncommon for me to play anything other than those RPGs in my free time. Being able to do this, being able to get suggestions from you guys on what games you think would fit best for the channel and best for me, it's like, damn, you guys are getting to know me just as much as I'm getting to know you. The suggestions that I'm getting from all of you guys is, it shows me we may have similar interests. Like if we were to all get together and have one big gaming party, we would probably be able to agree on the same game. So I, I think that's so cool. And you know, if you suggest a game to me, I play it for a bit and realize I'm not really enjoying this, then I'll make that clear. I'll make it clear in, in a video of that game that there's a mechanic that I don't like, there is, uh, the story is just too dry or whatever, but I'll make it clear that I'm not enjoying the game and then I'll most likely just stop playing the game unless something sparks my interest. Unless you tell me, yeah, the first section of the game is kind of slow, but if you get, if you just wait it out later in the game, you will really start to enjoy it, then I'll give it a chance. But it's just so much fun. And it helps me learn who I am as a content creator and what I'm willing to put up with. 
I don't want to just play games just to play them. I don't want to play games that will... I don't want to just play the game because it's popular. I don't want to play the game just because it'll probably get me the most amount of subscribers I'll ever see in my life. I want to play a game that I know I will enjoy. I want to play a game that I know you guys will enjoy. We may not always agree on the same thing, but as a community, as a family, we can come to an agreement that a gaming should be fun. You shouldn't have to play a game just because somebody told you to. And that is why if there is a game that is highly recommended or just came out and it's booming, I'll play it if it piques my interest, but I'm not gonna play it just because it's new and popular. Um, what is that game? Stellar, Stellar Blade or something like that? The one, the big booty chick. <laughs> The big booty chick with the, the game everybody's going crazy about the costumes or whatever it's it's right up my alley as far as rpgs go but i for some reason there was just something about that game that never caught my eye so i'm not gonna play it on my own and i'm not gonna play it for the channel it's important to me that i put myself and what i like first because this is not to say that i'm not going to think about my audience when i'm playing a game uh, because it's you know I think about both I think do I enjoy this game is my audience enjoying this game I guess I'm just having a hard time trying to trying to find the words to explain what I mean you know I I'm having a hard time trying to explain what I actually mean by putting myself first but I'm sure that if a lot of you understand what I'm saying you are able to pick up right away what I mean but then that's kind of also, it goes hand in hand with getting out of my comfort zone. If I see a game and it doesn't pique my interest, then maybe I should pick up that game so that I can give a different genre a chance or give a different game that opportunity to maybe get me into other games that are similar to it. Those two are probably the goals that I am working on the most right now. Because I feel like audience interaction is is going great. Like I said, I love you guys. I am in love with my audience. No, not in a, in a very platonic way, okay? Stop making it weird. I'm talking about you back there, Regina. Uh-huh. Not... Timothy? I'm serious. <laughs> I picked the most random names. Every, every single time I post a video and I see those comments rolling in or I'll, I'll see how often you guys are actually enjoying my videos, how often you're, how long you're actually watching. It, it hasn't really registered in my brain yet that I'm recording these videos, I'm uploading these videos for people who I have never met before, who people I will probably never meet on a personal level. I don't know if my channel will ever get big enough to do meetups or if my channel will ever get big enough for me to get invited to stuff like VidCon or, you know, whatever the creator summit. I don't know if they still do that. I don't know if my channel will ever get there, but if it does and I do get to meet some of you in person, it even then probably still won't register to me that we are all strangers to each other and you take the time out of your day to watch some guy you have never met before. You don't know him, you don't know me. <laughs> but you take the time to watch me scream at a game. You take the time to watch me have these kind of deep, serious conversations with you. And like I've said before, I may not always make S tier content, but I sure as hell am gonna try. Just the fact that you take the time out of your day to watch my videos is more than enough for me. And I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank you more. It's, oh, I'm gonna sound like a broken record because I wanna be able to say thank you. I wanna be able to tell you how I really feel in more than just a way where I, I'm sitting here explaining all this to you. I don't know, it's, this video was, was me going over how I feel about my goals for the year and I'm just, I'm gushing at <laughs> this is just so important to me 
And that's why being halfway into the year, I wanted to look back on the work that I've been putting in from January to present day and to really see if I've been keeping up with my goal. And I think that I have. If you go back to that first video, January 2nd, it's called, I wanted to start a hashtag called hashtag grind 2020 more. And I really haven't been keeping up with promoting that hashtag all that much, but it's, it's kind of hard being a smaller creator and not having a whole lot of audience outside of YouTube, you know? I don't harp too much about Grind 2020 more because it's more of a mental thing. It's more of something for me rather than to promote, you know, just to you guys. And I guess I haven't really been doing too bad with getting out of my comfort zone because it doesn't necessarily have to just apply to playing games. I have been trying to make my thumbnails more appealing as well. I think it was when I started playing Slay the Spire that I really wanted to get creative with my thumbnails. If you go back to before my Slay the Spire videos, a lot of them were just the, the normal, you know, YouTuber reaction of, oh my God, she's getting stabbed. Or, you know, like, this is what a thousand dollars can get you at a supermarket. And it's, I, I kind of get bored with those thumbnails. I get bored of making those thumbnails. So I want to try to do more with making it look like I'm holding something. And a lot of my most recent thumbnails, I've been doing really well with making it look like I'm holding an ax for the April 24th video. A lot of my Slay the Spire videos, like I said, is when I really started to get creative. I'm holding a sword in one of them. I've got magic emitting from my hands in another video. A lot of that is me getting comfortable with Photoshop and trying to be more creative with my thumbnails rather than just being basic and generic. Because gaming content has been around since it, it really started to boom in 2012. And so a lot of those thumbnails that you see with like the oh and ah kind of reactions are, are so played out that you just want to do something different. You want to crop my head out and put it on the video game character's body so that it kind of looks more like I'm the one who's in that character's position. That's, that's really what gaming is all about, is putting yourself in the character's position. That's why horror games are so scary. That's why action games are so exciting. Because you, if you really like video games the, the way that I do, you get this, this feeling that you're visiting different worlds every time you play a different game. To me, all these, all these video games that I've played share, a sa share the same multiverse. They share the same universe but they're just on different planets. They're in different timelines. And it's so fun to think about it that way. It's so fun to think that the remothered story takes the same, is in the same universe as Slay the Spire, but the rules are different in these two universes because they're either on different timelines or they're in different, different universes. I don't know, it's, it's so fun. I just, I love video games. I love being a gaming YouTuber. And I think I've been doing really good so far with my grind 2020 more goals. And I hope that you agree. I want to know what your thoughts are. I want to know what you think and how you think I've been doing. A lot of you are really new. I've been checking my YouTube studio app and a lot of you guys, I've been getting one to two subscribers every other day, every day. And it's felt great. I love seeing that number go up. I love seeing this family grow, this community grow in numbers so a lot of you may not have been around since i posted that 2020 more video a lot of you haven't been around since before that video but i want to know how you think i've been doing as far as my four goals consistency audience interaction because it again audience interaction does not just fall on you guys it falls on me as well it's how often am i responding to comments what a, how often am I, you know, giving my real thoughts to you guys? How often do you feel like what I'm saying to you is genuine? Because the one thing that I want to be as a content creator is genuine. I want you to know that what I say in my videos isn't just for show. This is actually me. I'm not always this energetic, of course. When I turn off the camera, it is very normal for me to go in my room, lay down, and just straight face stare at my TV like. 
<laughs> it's I'm not always there's not always a smile on my face, but that's human. But I do want you to know that what you see here is who you would see out in public. It's who you would see on a normal basis. If you if you were to ask any of my friends and family, I'm a natural born crackhead. <laughs> what I do in my videos is probably what I'm going to be doing in real life. <laughs> I just want to know your thoughts. I want to know how you feel I've been doing as a content creator. I'm going to end it here. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't know. I try not to talk so much. I try not to talk your ear off, but I just have so much to say. And I'm going to forever be this way. I'll forever never feel like I've said enough. Just thank you. Thank you personally. I'm talking to you. I'm not just talking to everyone as a whole. That thank you is for everyone individually. Because everybody who watches my videos, everybody who comments, is playing their own part in making me feel like doing this is worth it. Like doing this means something. You guys are helping me stay motivated. Because without you, I would probably... I would... I, I don't know what, else, what my other passion would be if not content creating. Probably voice acting. I've thought about doing some voice acting, but... If it weren't for you guys, if it weren't for each of you playing your individual parts and watching my videos, commenting, liking, tell me, telling me your gaming suggestions, telling me what you think of my videos, your tips, your areas for growth. I wouldn't be doing this. I would not have the motivation to do this. It wouldn't feel worth it without an audience, without a family to, to help me feel motivated, to tell me what I could be doing better. So that is all. I'm gonna go now. I gotta stop myself while I'm ahead before this video ends up being 50 minutes long. If you wanna see my last video, which was Remothered Tormented Fathers, I'll have that link somewhere around here. We're almost done with that game, so I'm very excited to see the end of that and then to continue on with the sequel. If you wanted to see the Crime 2020 More video, the video that started this whole motivation, motivational step for the year, I'll also have that link somewhere around here as well. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. I mean that. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out.